Hello, here we are in beautiful Delta. Welcome to Delta Gristmill. Today the project is dressing the stone. Our friend there, but well, not there now. <laughs> Our friend there, Chris and Arthur, are dismantling their millstones and we will get to the stone to see in which condition the stone is and the stone will be removed, redressed to make it sharp again. After that you mill for let's say 30, 40 tons of wheat, the stone becomes raw, so it's got to be redressed, redressed to make it sharp again to be able to mill, make it proper flour. We taken out the horse from the millstone, we will open it and see what's in there. Removing the skirt from the millstone. What I always say to my students, my apprentice, a mill that to be clean, that is the lesson number one in a mill. So we will see what's there because the stone did not run all the winter and now in the springtime it's time to get the mill going again. And the first thing is to see how the stone is and uh, to be regrouped, regressed the stone. the brain to lift up the stone. Another half. Good. Bring it up a little bit. It's, the stone weighs about one ton. Quite a uh, heavy piece of bread that you move. You have to be careful, your toes. One, two, three. Nice to be young, you know, you're pretty. You're full strength. Full power. <laughs> oh, who's that? set of stone here which come from a mill near Quebec City. A mill was in operation for quite a long time and like many of the small mills they all went kaput, they closed them. And uh, here, the first operation here is to clean the stones and secondly we should have a staff with some uh, red uh, outside to mark the stone to uh, see the high spot on the stone so when you work on it the surface of the stone will be as more even as possible because if you have a, a spot or something a little higher that the stone will be rumbling and you will have uh, noise in the milling which you don't want to because we say all the time the stone will be singing when the stones are running, everything should be smooth and smooth the stones are singing. So, therefore, cleaning is the first step. Secondly, we will remark the stones to find out the red, the high spot with the red oxide. And therefore, we will be 
working on the stones, dressing the stones with a, a stick, hard steel carbide stick. The stick had to be harder than the stone, otherwise it wouldn't work. Also, that is transverse stone. It's a very, very hard stone. It came both from a quarry in France. We ship them all over the world. Not that we don't have hard stone here, but these stones were fresh water quartz. Very, very hard, almost as hard as diamond. That's our stone for now. Step will be painting, marking the stone, and working on it. So we're all out here using, that's the ochre that's already on the, uh, the staff? I'm sorry? Yeah, the well, red ochre I don't have any uh, And that yeah. shows up the high points on me. That's right. After milling for 30 tons, 40 tons of wheat, the stone becomes very soft, very smooth, like you see over here. So it is not aggressive anymore. It is very difficult to mill fine flour. Therefore, you have to put more pressure between the stone and it will have tendency to overheat the flour, kill the gluten in the flour, so which is not very good for the lady which wants to make good bread out of it. When you regroup the stone or dress the stone, you have to build, make some little line in the stone with a sharp pick and to break that glaze which had formed with time here. Therefore, the stone will become rough, aggressive, and there you will not need so much pressure between the stone to produce fine flour. That's what we're doing right now. It goes this way. The idea is to make the line as straight as possible. No good when you have a few drinks before. The idea is to break that glaze which has formed with time on the stone. It's like shattering glass. Uh, when the miller will start the stone, the first few pounds are discarded because it could be some leftover stone chips and stuff like that. And uh, easy with the pressure between the stones because the stones will be really aggressive and uh, milling also faster.